Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight Pierce here at the body shop in East Brunswick New Jersey uh, if you're watching this video you want to learn how to do a proper belly piercing or you can use this video as a reference to know what to expect or what to look out for when you go to the shop to get pierced uh, a couple things um, you're gonna need the proper tools as always you want to have yourself a pair of forceps to hold on to the jewelry have a better grip on it you want yourself a pair of clamps that have and opening right through the slot right there. You're gonna get a 7 16 uh, belly ring, 14 gauge. Wanna make sure you have an alcohol swab, a couple Q-tips, a uh, 14 gauge needle. I like to use a little bit of water-based petroleum jelly to make it nice and smooth, a marker. One thing you do for measuring the proper space when making the markings, go on Amazon, get yourself a compass like this. Just make it set to the same thing you want to make it about a 5 16 distance all right you always want to leave enough room so that you can see a little portion of that bar when they're standing up this way when they lay down and their skin stretches there's enough room and it's not too tight so get yourself a compass it comes in very handy all right as always h2o ocean best aftercare there is we're going to go ahead right now swab the area mark it and then do the piercing you can stand up face this way Now guys, just so you know, not everybody has the right anatomy for a belly piercing. You need to distinguish what piercing or what bellies can be pierced and what can't. And I know sometimes it's hard to tell a customer that they cannot get pierced, but it's just part of the occupation. When you make your bottom mark, you wanna make sure you're able to see that mark when you make it. Put your hands to Alright, go ahead and lay down right there. The whole purpose of the piercing is for it to float in front of the navel. If you go too far down, it's going to be too deep. It's not going to sit right. Uh, chances of infection are much higher as well. Execute this piercing, very, very simple. You follow these steps, this piercing should be done in just a couple seconds. You're gonna take a little bit of petroleum jelly, put it right on the back, just like that. Take your needle, pop it open, run it back, just like that. Get your cork, get your open clamp. You wanna take this part and go right below the mark this part right above it. As soon as you get there, squeeze it. This should be directly in the center on both sides. Hold the clamp with your left hand if you're a right hand. As soon as you touch that skin with the needle, bring the clamp forward, go straight through, just like that. You wanna cork the tip of it. Hold the skin back with your two fingers and just push this through, big breath in, big breath out. And that is a belly piercing. Go ahead, stand up. Now guys, as you can see right here, okay, there's enough room right here so when she does lay down, if it does swell, okay, it'll cover the rest of that bar. If you can't see that much of the bar, you pierce it too deep. Okay, as always, for aftercare, I want you guys to wash it once a day. Use H2 Ocean three times a day. This is by far the best aftercare you can get for a piercing. Okay, uh, they sell the piercing soak, they sell the, the foam, oral rinse, and the four ounce spray. Use this three times a day. If you have any questions, any concerns, you could shoot me a message on Instagram at underscore Sean Pierce. Until next time, take care. Angel.
had to change the scene Cause my life just like movies In the streets turned to a fighter, how can you be? Jealous hating on me if you knew